I'm gonna first do the conceptual questions because we've been doing it and I don't wanna break the streak. I want to have a complete list, so um, I'm a bit of a completionist, so <laughs> let me do that. <laughs> I'll try to uh, be quick about this one today so that uh, we'll have hopefully 50 plus minutes for the timed assessment demos. So let me start with the first question here. And um, so let me see what happens if I just uh, copy this uh, whole thing. Uh, it might still paste in something about the video. Um, oh wow, it doesn't. Um, oh yeah, because I think it's, uh, this is an embedded thing. If I do this, will that work any better? I don't know, it might not work, we'll see. So this is asking about the adequate demo. There might be enough contextual clues in the text for perplexity to do something. So we'll see. Uh, two questions. So magnetic fields changing as the induced voltage. It does not depend. Uh, well, for the same speed of the magnet, it doesn't depend. Um, in this current, depend on the resistivity. That yes, Ohm's law. Um, so in the, it, yeah, it does not depend on resistivity. Yeah. In a proportional rate of magnetic flux. So as long as you're comparing apples to apples, as in the same speed of the magnet, then induced voltage is the same. Uh, now, when this is aluminum magnet is moving slower, so induced voltage would actually be less, uh, limited by how fast the magnet moves. Uh, in this current, does, does depend, yeah, right. Uh, and then does it decide Ohm's law? So magnetic proportional to the strength area, the, how does it not say Ohm's law? Um, yeah, so, you know, I would quibble a little bit with this answer where, because uh, it's all set up for you. You know, in A, you already answered about induced voltage. So in B, really the only piece you need to add is, well, to get the current, you do voltage divided by resistance. Uh, so, uh, for the, from Ohm's law, so you should, uh, Mention Ohm's law. Yeah. All right, let me move on. Um, and I think if I copy and paste this, it'll paste in a description of that figure. Again, that's an accessibility feature for uh, blind students. Um, and videos have to work, figure out a solution at some point. <laughs> okay, circular conducting loops. Switch S is closed. Okay, yeah. Um, turn to... Switch has to close, so with a current to flow out of the page at the top of the loop. So that means uh, magnetic fields due to the current will point to right. So the change of flux is pointing to right, so to oppose it, your change in flux should oppose, point to the left. So the induced current will be coming in, going into the screen at the top of the D. Let's see, oh, skip, or uh, I don't know. Let me just select them all. They could be relevant. Um, we'll see. So, yeah. So again, with the out of the page at the top. So yeah, magnetic field in the middle pointed to the uh, wait, wait <laughs> from your perspective out of the page. Yeah. So point to the right. So um, in D, it should be flowing in the opposite direction. With change in flux, yeah, yeah. Correct the statement to the law. And then from the right to the right, my from, from the. This is wrong. A magnetic field it creates is directed, you know, in the center, directed to the, uh, the to the right of the screen. Um, in, yeah, I think it got confused. Uh, so, you know, it's a large language model. It's not a large geometry model. When it involves geometric reasoning, um, it confuses itself. So this is all just a jumble of mess. Starting from here, it's just a jumble of mess. Um, <laughs> I, this is an excellent chance for you to practice right-hand rule. So I recommend that, and then take a look at the model answer when you're done. Okay, a long time after switch is closed, it currently should be zero, because it depends on the Induced the voltage it depends on the change of magnetic flux. Long time after, there's no change of magnetic flux. So I think it'll get that right. Yeah, no longer changing, no current induced. Good. So now when the switch is opened, um, so you have a magnetic field established the point to the right. When the current goes away, that field will be going away. 
So the change of magnetic flux is pointed to the left. So current in D should oppose that change, which means it's going to be creating magnetic field pointed to the right. And that kind of current will be one where at the top it's coming out of the screen and at the bottom it's going into the screen. So let's see. We'll start to decrease. It's changing my which will induce. Okay. So far so good. Such that it opposes. Okay. Currently decreasing. The... Yeah. Uh, viewed from above, that makes no sense. <laughs> if you talk about being viewing it from right, then sure, that could make sense, but not in this way. Uh, yeah, GPT is not that good with the geometry, because uh, I imagine it wasn't trained on a geometric reasoning material. It, it you, know, um, <laughs> you know, online there's a, what is it, two terms, um, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, uh, or one of the terms is a shape rotator, you know, people who can rotate shapes in their head. Um, GPT is not one of those because it, it's a la larger language model, not larger geometry model. Okay, bar moving down, yeah, shown below, and then it describes the figure. And I do believe, you know, um, a, bl a blind person working through this, you know, I think they can build an image of this geometry in their head, even if they were like blind from Earth. Because they interacted with the world, they have some idea of geometry in their head, but you know, um, the um, it comes down to large language model doesn't think it, it's not sentient, it's not like a human being who can actually. Uh, oh wait, I answered the questions below. Okay, okay, I mixed up some things. Uh, it's uh, GPT is not like a, a, a actual sentient intelligence um, that can actually reason through the um, uh, thing. So if, if uh, whatever geometric scenario it's uh, being asked to reason through isn't exactly in its training set, then of course it can't do that. And uh, whatever flexibility it might have in doing language stuff, um, I'm don't think it'll quite transfer as well into geometric reasoning. I, I'm not just, I'm not saying you know if there's a, a, a deep learning model that's trained on some geometric shape stuff, it couldn't do better. It's that just isn't GPT because you know it's a it's a, a, a foundation for a chatbot. It's a focused on language. That um, and and magnetism is one of the most geometric of uh, physics topic that. Uh, that you will see in lower division. Pencil bar moving down. Okay, answer perspective. The looking to look from the above. Okay, and uh, above the magnet. Uh, yeah, looking down towards. Okay, as magnet pushes low, we induce the voltage. Okay, so <laughs> I have from North Pole. There's a magnetic field pointing down, and that's increasing. So the change in magnetic flux is downward, as looking at from above. Um, so the Op opposing the change will be magnet induce the magnetic field upward. So look to from above that will induce the current of flowing counterclockwise. So it should be counterclockwise. Let's see. So current that circulates. Con oh wow, well, correct answer due to Lenz law. This current as the North Pole monitor is increasing in the down. Yeah, okay. Well, that that's a good answer. Yeah, correct. Uh, after the magnet passes through, will they induce the voltage? So now, uh, magnet passes through. So south pole is above. So the that's producing magnetic field pointing upward. And let's uh, think of this through. As uh, the magnet is moving downward, that field is decreasing. So the change in magnetic flux is downward. So to oppose that, uh, huh, is that the same direction? I guess so. Um, in the clockwise. Oh, sorry, am I not thinking this right? Um, let's see. South pole. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> south pole magnetic field is pointing downward into the south pole okay and then as it moves away the that field strength is decreasing which means change of magnetic flux is upward to oppose that you need a magnet induced magnetic field that's downward so current for that should be flowing clockwise yeah okay good <laughs> this is probably doing it right yeah Flux in the downward direction, yeah, yeah, good, good. Okay, see, if the loop is made of superconducting material, 
uh, current state the load, no. Uh, uh, after magnet pass through, what is the net current? It should be zero. I hope uh, from your answer to A and B that they are opposed and some sense of symmetry that amount of those will be about the same that you get the sense, oh, you will have induced the current from here that's uh, first counterclockwise and then um, there's clockwise voltage being induced that will reduce the current down to zero when all that is said and done. And that would be correct. Let's see. In this current will continue to flow. Way, however, the flux through the. Uh, no, so it didn't quite get the point of the question. Um, um, and the part of the point of the question actually goes to the um, where it talks about uh, magnetic monopole. So. Uh, the idea is that a superconducting loop like that, it'll distinguish between a magnetic dipole passing through, which will end with no net current, and a magnetic monopole passing through, which will end up with a net current. Uh, that's right. It will be clockwise. Will it be? I guess it depends on the side. Uh, if it's north pole, so as it was moving down, it was inducing clockwise, counterclockwise current. So um, I think it, it got this wrong as well. Um, yeah, wait, as the monopole moves away, uh, flux, yeah, it, it um, so with the a, a north pole, so imagine looking at north pole from, from top, it's a producing magnetic field that's a, 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 coming up, and it's, it's a moving away, strength is decreasing, so the change of magnetic flux is downward. To oppose the change, you have to induce a uh, current that produces magnetic field pointing up. So that would be counterclockwise. So uh, GPT got this wrong also. Um, you know, geometric reasoning, not its strength. So, so far, it basically got two questions wrong. This and this. And let's look at four. Um, ah, it'll probably get this one right. This one doesn't require geometric reasoning. Just recalling facts, maybe. <laughs> uh, it works with the eddy current, heat dissipation, um, or I guess depending on the setup, you could use that to store energy back. That's the regenerative braking in hybrid cars and electric cars. Uh, how uh, does it work uh, by eddy current? Yeah, eddy current. Yeah, um, spinning needs to be metal because eddy currents can. Yeah. Yeah, so with the non-conducting material, you would still have, you can still have induced the voltage. You just uh, won't have any current flowing from it. So, yeah. Okay, good, good. That's a good answer.